Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I'm here with a fun little video um, on making rice paper. I know there's a lot of people out there that have done it before. Um, I tried some different ways that I got different effects and I thought I would show you what I did. And I honestly, once you do this stuff, you're gonna really get hooked because it is so much fun and what you get from it I mean look at that isn't it you know it's just it's a really it makes a really nice um, textured um, usable um, thing because you can I mean I can see how you could easily make things with this I haven't done anything yet but we're gonna do that in the video um, but you could easily sew on this. You could make envelopes. You could make a cover for a journal. Anything, anything like that. So anyway, let me kind of show you um, kind of, sort of, what I did and how it turned out and all that kind of stuff like that and give you some uh, pointers of what I learned the hard way. Um, first off, um, I did not have um, like Elmer's glue. I used um, just some tacky glue and that's what I'm going to use again that I bought from the dollar store because I don't really use Elmer's glue. But it's made the same way guys. It's not really any different. And I have this old little um, bowl that I use. And so I did that and then I added water to it because obviously it's really thick. Um, I would say 50-50 at least. And then I just took my little stir thing, wherever that is. Where did you go? Okay, you're over here. And I'm just going to mix that up because it is very thick. And your Elmer's glue is not going to be as thick. so you. You know your water you're in there you want it I would say you want this a consistency of syrup or maybe even a little bit lighter than that but um, so I am gonna just keep mixing this until I can get it where I want it and I'm making a mess but I'm trying to really make sure it gets mixed good not the end of the world if it doesn't it's gonna spread out but um, you do want to mix that up. Just making a mess, aren't I? Um, so anyway, mix that up till you get it, you know, kind of syrupy. You don't want it super thick. And like I said, depending upon your glue, I mean each one, and it's just this white glue, okay? And then what I did is I took, um, a little bit of my vintage photo and you could use coffee or any other kind of thing that you use to stain I did it with my vintage photo just because um, I didn't want it to go rancid if I decided I wanted to keep it and I put a couple drops in there to make it kind of a little off-white and I did that just because I wanted my th my stuff to have kind of a vintage look okay all right, then I took a napkin. Let me try and find one that is not too big so I can get it in frame. And if you have any kind of napkin, what you're going to find is usually it has either two or three ply, depending upon the napkin. Okay, I just kind of ripped that one. Oh, it's stuck together, that's why. I don't know why. Let me find a different one that's not stuck together. Okay. Oh, I must have got glue on that or something. Okay. There's like a tiny bit of glue on these napkins. So I guess they're going to be stuck together. Anyway, um, what I do, if you can't pull them apart, so there's one layer. Save this because in my opinion it makes a really cool thing and then the next one usually if there's another one it's stuck on there pretty good and you may have to get some tape 
just some plain old scotch tape and go in and pull that other layer apart because usually it doesn't come off all that easy. See how it's kind of really stuck on there? And I save that layer too. It depends. If, it, if you can see the writing on it and it doesn't look all that great, then I throw it away. But usually the third one is, is all white. So yeah, see how it has that on there? If you don't want that, um, you might like that. But um, I probably won't save it. Now see, that's where it's torn, but that doesn't matter. We'll end up using this anyway. So, okay, so then you get your napkin. And let me tell you, I found out the hard way. I started using um, baking paper on, you know, on the shiny side uh, for, um, for doing this. And to be perfectly honest with you, it works, but it doesn't work as great as some other ways that you can do it, okay? Um, and I've seen people do it on wax paper. I would think wax paper would probably work about the same. And I tried different things. Um, I tried like just some packaging. Like this is just some uh, cellophane packaging and it worked really pretty well on this stuff. You could just use that um, and the thing that worked the absolute best is plastic okay um, no, that's right I did try one other thing I forgot um, if you have any big baggies like this in fact I think we'll cut this apart and use this too we'll use that because it works really well on that um, and I had some these are from the dollar store you get three of them I had some of those and um, they have bigger ones there too those work really 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 well so I'm just gonna cut this bag I not sure what I got in it it got something in the mail came in this so you know, depending upon how big your napkins are. Now, you don't want the paper part side of it to, um, to, um, you don't want any paper on it. Now, see, you could just open it up all the way like that and use it, or you can use each section. Um, I'm probably going to cut it in half. Let me move this out of the way. I'll cut it in half and we'll use that because I can put smaller napkins on there. So this is just a big plastic baggie really and I'm gonna just use it this way. You don't have to cut this part off but I'm going to. And this would work just fine. Okay. Actually it worked just fine. And then what I was telling you is that the other thing that I found is I had this plastic packaging, which is probably about the consistency of a plastic um, tablecloth. And I do have a clear one like that, but this was already like a big square. So I just cut it up. You can see the little snaps on there that were there. Um, and I used that too. But it worked very similar to this big baggy thing. Um, and it worked way better than the parchment paper, um, which I would assume would work similar to wax paper. I'm not saying those don't work, but um, they, it was way harder to peel off. Let's just put it that way. And you had a bigger chance of your stuff tearing. So ultimately you don't want it to tear. So um, anyway, after you get your napkin and you get your, your subsurface that you're gonna use, which I highly recommend the, the baggy thing or the tablecloth. And that's a clear tablecloth. You don't have to have a clear one. I mean, you can put it on any old plastic tablecloth you have. Now, I haven't tried it on those really, you know, those really, really flimsy ones that you get, those one-time use ones. I haven't tried it on something like that. Um, I kind of wonder if they would be a little bit too uh, flimsy to maneuver. I, they might work. I don't know. I don't know. 
but this I'm just telling you what I used and all you're going to do is you're going to paint um, with the glue mixture you want it covering pretty good and you see how it's kind of bunching up there you want it down there so that um, this will stick to it okay because you want it on both sides all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our napkin over this and first thing usually I do is I get the try and get rid of the little lines in the middle okay and then you're just going to take your mixture okay and you're going to coat it and go past the end because you need that later to help keep it from tearing and sometimes you're going to get little wrinkles and stuff and that's fine and even if you get a little tear or something you can kind of smush it back together and I don't know it still works because the glue kind of fills in but I go around the ends first and then I do the middle um, I don't know that there's any really right or wrong way to do this and as you can see my glue is tinted a little bit so it's going to tint the napkin a little bit and if you don't like that then you just use the white glue the way it is okay um, but anyway any white glue will work and I also did it with uh, clear glue and I'll show you that in a minute it, ha it, it makes a different effect so but I will tell you that this makes some really fun stuff that I can work with I think now see how it kind of wrinkled a little bit that's fine I like all the wrinkles in it I think it makes it look cool in fact I'm going to go through um, when I get the time hopefully so I have a ton of napkins that are all kind of bunched up in pieces and I'm really thinking I may just go through and take all of those and do something like this just so that um, I can use it for collage better um, because it has more substance okay then basically I just would take this and lay it flat somewhere I had it all over my um, uh, table upstairs and um, I just kind of laid it all out and just let it set overnight that's all that's all there is to it there's nothing more to it um, I did want to talk about um, here we'll use the back of this one for that the um, bottom part of or the top you know the very last layer the white layer of your um, napkin now see this has paper on it right there so I'm doing it on the other side you wouldn't want to put it on paper so that side of your napkin I don't know what I did with that did it disappear I guess it did well, I guess I'll just use this one then. I don't know where it went to. Hmm. Maybe I put it in the trash. Who knows? Okay, so this part, this very last part of the napkin, this makes for a great, great, um, oh boy, got my tape stuck on there gonna tear it that's okay that's all right okay it's torn but it doesn't matter I use this kind of in pieces this is really cool for um, what it makes later I really love it it just makes kind of a I don't know a clear almost like a um, crackled uh, effect which I see using it on a, maybe a lot of situations uh, almost like glass you know and anyway what I did on this is I kind of crumpled it up that's why it didn't really matter that it was torn a little bit and I took it and I laid it out because I wanted all those wrinkles in it okay and then just kind of lay it down I mean you really don't want it torn a bunch in the middle because if you want to have pieces that you can use but and I just kind of laid it out and then just basically did the same thing okay because this stuff turns out really really cool 
Um, now this is really thin, so it may tear a little bit on the edges, and if it does, just kind of, here, let me show you here, just kind of ball it up a little. See that tore? Just go like that. And that's only for later when you have to peel it off, because it makes it easier to peel off. And just take your time with it, and I can tell my glue's getting a little bit too thick. Um, you don't want it too thick because it'll tear your tissue paper, but then you don't want it too thin because then you can't, it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. But by putting this little tint on it too, it, it's, this is going to give it a tinted look. You know, so we had, we started out with white, so, and then you tint it to whatever you want. Um, maybe, you know, for different projects, you want a different look. So if you want a vintage look, and you could take like a little bit of instant coffee and put it in there. You could put whatever. If you have a different color you like to put in there. I just know that I put one or two drops of instant, if vintage photo and usually it turns out what the what I want it to look like so and you just do this again you're gonna let it sit overnight oh we got a big tear there and a piece of hair I tried to get the piece of hair off and then the tear that's okay the way that I use this it doesn't really matter if it's torn because I kind of use it in pieces almost like mica or something so anyway, then I let that sit overnight, okay? Um, let's see, i got to find a spot for now until I can go take it where I need to put it. Um, the big thing is, let me show you this. These things, these worked, this worked the best, honestly. So if you can find a plastic tablecloth that you know about this consistency, I don't... You know those really, really flimsy ones, you know, that you buy for one-time use? I don't know that it would work as well as this. I think it would work, but probably not quite as well. Uh, let me get this napkin. I haven't used this. And I'm telling you, this white stuff is gold because when you see how it turns out, it's really neat. I love that stuff. And I'll, I'm, I'm going to show you something I did with that, with it. Um, that made it even really more interesting, I think. But we'll see, show you. Hopefully we have enough to do one more. I'm going to have to put a little water in there, I think, because it's getting kind of, getting a little bit um, thick, seems like. Tiny bit of water in there. All right. Because if it gets too thick, then it, it can kind of tear your thing a little bit. Okay, so um, what I found that I loved about this the most is the fact that it really reinforces your napkin so that you can use it in a lot of different ways than, you know, how we normally use it. So, and I'm going to show you a couple things that I plan to do with some of these. And boy, I'm going to tell you, if you do this, you're going to get hooked <laughs> because it's really fun, especially the different effects that you get. So, and that's the big thing is I'm not saying I'm doing anything new. I'm just doing it different ways just to give you guys an idea, um, depending upon the look that you want. Okay, so I got enough glue down there and I'm going to go ahead and lay that out and like I said if it has a few wrinkles it does not bother me at all so you do need to make sure that you get it you know coated all over and I could use a bigger brush and it might go faster but I like having the control of a small brush too smaller brush I'm gonna do that it goes pretty fast though and it's kind of relaxing you don't have to really think that much you know and then if you have your little squares cut up and I have this sitting on my little media mat here so I can just take it and go 
bring it to the sink and wash it off. I love these things. Absolutely love them. I have two of them. And I, you know, if one gets dirty and I don't have time to go clean it off, then I just um, get the other one out and then... But honestly, a lot of times I just leave it on my desk and I spray it with my alcohol that I buy from the dollar store and just about everything just comes instantly off of it. Now I have gotten super glue on it and that did not come off. And it has stained a little bit with, um, uh, what do you call it, um, alcohol ink. Not, you know, not real bad, but a little bit. But I mean, you know, nothing I can't live with. But I really love it for, um, if I wasn't doing videos, I wouldn't care that it has any stains or anything on it, probably. Okay, I'm going to make sure I get this coated good. And I uh, just see, I love how it just took this really bright um, napkin and it brought it down a little bit with that little vintage photo in there. Make sure you get the ends good because that's what you need when you go to peel this off. You have to have it saturated all the way through or it'll, it'll kind of stick and rip. Um, okay, so I think that's done. So we were going to put that aside to find yet another spot I can put it. Okay, here we go. That's the last one that I'm going to do like that. Now, I want to show you um, another thing that you can do. I have this Jot um, clear glue that I got. It, Elmer's makes it. They, there's a lot of different makers. Anyway, so um, I did it with clear glue too, and it turned out it had a different consistency, but it also was more transparent. So um, I'll show you what it looks like in the end, but I thought I'd show you that just because it does give you a different look. So I'm going to put some in here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, on this, I'm going to put not as much water because I found it was like a little bit, you know, it was obviously wasn't as thick as the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, uh, whatever that glue was. Let me try and find a brush that I can use that's not too messed up. It's too thick. Okay, here we go. Um, you know, it's not as thick as the um, other glue of the um, tacky glue, but Elmer's glue, you know, is not as thick as that. Okay, probably a tiny bit more water. And I, I like I said, you want it kind of the consistency of syrup. You know, all right, so now I'm going to take this and again, put a couple drops in there. And I'm doing this darker than um, the other one because I want a different effect. So, so isn't that cool? <gasps> But it's very transparent, and I make I make that stuff up, and I use it all the time for um, for uh, what do you call it <sighs> for like a stain. I you know um, it works really well for that. So let me get some packaging over here. Where did that go? I want the bigger one. So this is just you know packaging, and it worked really well. Um, not as well as the tablecloth, but it did work. So um, let's try this again. Let's see if that'll fit. Eh, barely, huh? Okay, so I took the clear. This is the clear. I don't think I have any more of the bigger one. Is this bigger? This might be a little bit bigger. Let me try this one. This is, again, packaging. Um, I think a 12 by 12 um, paper that I had was in this, so I'll try that. This is a little bit bigger. We'll try that. Okay. 
not a lot bigger but enough to give me like an end to where I can get over there so this is the um, bottom layer and I'm going to put this all on here and I'm telling you it turned out really cool it was like a turned out into like a glassy um, almost mica look to it it's like that oh my gosh there's so many things you could use that for so you do the same thing I mean so it and it's funny each thing I I used um, made the napkin have a different kind of look to it okay oh I want that down lower I think once you put it on you really it's hard to get out without ripping it so let me go down a little bit lower just so that I can have more of the napkin on there I can always cut the napkin too so it's not like okay there we go and again you're going to do the same thing this isn't stuck all the way down but that's okay you get the idea and so um, this ends up being extremely transparent okay um, the clear glue dries it dries it doesn't I guess it doesn't have any cloudiness or anything in it plus that third layer of napkin is really really thin um, you think it might be like tissue paper but it's not it's actually usually thinner and um, doing this allows you to get it in a form that is the usable you know what I mean you'll see you'll see and this is going off onto my mats but I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way because I think it'll still work and even if it rips the way that I'm going to use this um, in pieces will be okay of course I want it as much as I can in one big piece but you know it's okay if it doesn't end up that way and I just keep going and I don't really care if it's in some and more in some places than the other just because I, I like how that will look I you know I, I don't spread it too much because it will rip your paper this paper rips really easy so um, but if it rips I just keep moving on because I know I'll still use it but anyway this turns out really cool so and you can definitely use the clear on um, that stuff on the other napkins too and we'll do that so you can see how that ends up looking it just turns out a little bit more transparent but also a little bit more um, glossy I think so it has more of a glossy finish to it but it's really it just it's just a different look okay I'm gonna have to mix more of that up I thought I did enough okay so that makes a really really cool thing and you can already tell how transparent it is just isn't that cool just wait you're gonna love it you're gonna love it um boy oh boy I'm running out of spots here okay I'm gonna just have to put it up here hold on folks let me move some stuff around so I can lay all these things down because we're going to have a problem pretty soon if I keep doing them. Um, it's kind of like when you do mixed media. So um, the other thing that I did is um, I saved these little brown napkins. Okay. Um, this is from Taco Casa. These things make the coolest. And I mean really cool um, pieces. Um, and I've done other things with them too but so there's this is two ply and I'm not keeping the taco casa part but let's just take that and we'll do one of these again let's see if I got some more packaging over here um, and this turned out really cool uh, let's 
let's see do I have any of this left okay I did this two ways I did it with the clear and then I did it this is with the um, the white glue and I think it actually turned out pretty cool it's just the texture that it it, already, it has like a texture to it and then it already has that really kind of cool brown color okay so and it's wrinkled a little bit but that's okay so I'm using the white glue on this just to just to kind of keep it it, it doesn't turn out as glossy when you use the white glue and I found that when I was doing this brown I kind of want more of a grungy kind of look and I didn't want that glossiness to it now when I use the, the white paper you know that third line of that ply um, I kind of want that clear glossy because I wanted it to look like glass but on this I didn't want that look so I liked using the white glue on the brown and that's kind of how I did it I barely have enough to finish this but I think I do okay so that one's done and we gotta let it sit somewhere I, think I got a spot right there okay the last one I'm gonna do is I took let's make sure I have enough I might have to mix a tiny bit more I took um, Let me take this one apart and we shall see. Or maybe this one. I don't think it's big enough for that. I took the clear and I did it on the napkin. And what will happen, let me get it apart if I can. There we go. Okay, this one's really stuck on there. I did it with the clear, and I think it turned out really neat. All right, get off of there. Okay, just because it had, had a different look to it. Here, I'm going to put some more in there. I know I'm not going to have enough. All right. Not hard to mix this up, guys. So, and if you do a lot, I have like a little jar um, that I keep handy, and that's kind of why I use the vintage feta rather than like coffee or anything that can go bad, just because. What that does, it allows me to keep it knowing it's not going to get rancid. Um, if you do coffee or tea or anything like that, you can only keep it for a little while. Okay, now this is not quite as dark, which is good. I don't want to do it on the paper side because you don't want it. Well, I've got enough room. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, just make sure you get it to where it'll stick down. And with the clear, it turns out different. It's a more translucent um, look to it than with the um, with the other. So you just kind of have to decide how you like it, okay? But I will tell you guys, um, I don't think I'll do it on the uh, parchment paper. Um, like I said, I didn't try wax paper, so you may want to try it on that. But I would, I will just tell you that I think the more porous something is, the harder it's going to be to take off. And I'm actually going to do something with the ones that I did on the parchment paper. Um, different now I'm going to do like a whole nother project with that so um, but that is another day and I'm telling you this stuff is it's addicting because you're going to love when it gets done 
how it looks and what you can do with it okay all right and you can probably already tell how translucent that is okay it just turns out differently so anyway let me put this up somewhere I took plain old tissue paper um, let me get I'm trying to get a piece that's small enough I'll have to cut it that will fit on that yeah I don't want to make it too big because then I you will not be able to see now there's only so much you can do with tissue paper because it's you know obviously pretty flimsy so when you use this stuff and here I'm going to just take this is just packaging and it usually just comes apart really easy right so I just did that on a lot of this and then oops, it's better to cut it when it when it doesn't have a seam because then it could tear along like it just did and then you just kind of pull it apart and it worked really well my napkins would fit on there so um, tissue paper you know it's already uh, well I think I'm gonna have to cut that smaller to fit on there and I did bigger pieces guys so I just don't want anyone I want you to be able to see what I'm doing so I used the clear on the tissue paper and the other one I used both but you decide which one you want to use we will just go ahead and I mean I used both and they gave different effects so I'm gonna put this down and obviously tissue paper is very thin but um, what it allows you to do guys is that all of a sudden now you can use your tissue paper a different way because it is it's going to be you know basically the same way you would vellum um, like you can sew vellum you can put it in your journal you can um, make pockets out of it bags out of it and that's what all of a sudden it's going to allow you to take your um, your stuff to the next level see I can tell the spots I missed underneath I don't know if that's going to work but this is going to look how look how transparent that is see that so anyway that is what you get with the clear glue and it still it does make it translucent even if you're um, doing the uh, matter of fact I'll show you that real quick just so that you can see it still makes it translucent even if you're using the um, white glue but it's not as translucent but again it's not as shiny either so you know you have to pick your poison what you want so it will definitely work it's just not it's just not going to be nearly as um, let me do a little bit of this I don't want to do a lot just I'm just going to do this one thing just to show you okay and like I said this is the only white glue I had so I thought okay I'm going to try it with that um, but it's the same formula guys so it doesn't really matter it's just the tacky glue is just a lot thicker so put a little bit more water it's a little more work because you have to mix it more but that's okay not a big deal right I'll just mix it with my brush okay and I'm not going to add anything any um, color to this so I'm just going to leave it like it is it's got a little bit in there um, oh I didn't do this part first but it does I mean it makes it translucent but not as much as the clear but it has a more it's not as uh, shiny a surface 
when you're done with it either. So, as I said, you know, you can do it either way. And you'll see it's not cl not cl nearly as translucent. So, it just depends, I guess, on what you want. And it works that way with the napkins, too. The clear makes it more translucent, but it doesn't, it has a more of a plastic feel with the clear is what I guess I would say too. So I guess it just doesn't, you know, it just really totally depends on what you're, what you're going for. Okay, see that? I don't know, what did I do with that other one? I don't know where I put it now. Well, oh, here it is right here. Okay, so I just wanted to be able to compare the two. They're not dry yet, but See that? Do you see the difference? So when it dries, this is going to be a lot more clear than this one. So you just have to you have to decide what you what you think that you want out of it. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this aside. Um, go ahead and put my brushes up. And what I do is, like I said, I have little jars that I just pour this stuff in so that um, I don't waste it and I very I, most of the time I don't even clean these up I just kind of pour the stuff in there and then I use these later so I'm not gonna worry about it so I just I have it in here and I actually I use this to um, seal things and tint things all the time okay so I'm going to show you some that I've already done because what I do with all of those is I just let them sit overnight, okay? So here's one that is done on a plastic um, bag. You know, one of those bags I told you about that I got from the dollar store. So it's basically just a big baggie, you know? And it peels off. Look at that. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And... This was done, I'm trying to remember if it was done. Yeah, this was done with the clear glue, and then this was done with the white glue. Okay, now I'm going to do show you the backs. So, that's what it looks like on the back. So, it's a little bit more, one's a little bit shinier than the other on the back. On the front, they look pretty similar. And I did tint the glue on both of these because the napkin back was white. So it did tint it a little bit. And I, I, just, I just like how that looks, okay? Isn't that just wonderful, guys? I mean, think about all the things you can do with that. So, um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Here, this is... Okay, so this is one that was done on uh, one of the bags again. So let's just peel that off. I'm telling you, look how easy that peels off. And if it starts to rip somewhere, then you just go back and... Alright, look at that. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's just so cool. I mean, I really, honestly, this just changes it completely. You could use that as a, you know, a, a cover. Um, you could take it and make it a pocket. You can make, you could, you know, make little envelopes out of it. I mean, it's just very sturdy at that point. Okay. Now, here's one that I did, and this is done on that plastic. Like, you know, like almost like a tablecloth. And it, look how easy that peels off. And I didn't peel these off before, guys. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so cool, right? Oh, you can go like that. It doesn't do anything. I mean, you know. And I, like I said, I like the wrinkles in it. I love the wrinkles in it. It's just so cool. Oh, I love it. I'm telling you guys, you're going to get so hooked on this. Okay, then. Uh, this is parchment paper. Let me see. Let me get one that's not, um, see if I can get one that I can peel off. Because, all right. Oops. There we go. All right. So this is parchment paper. And 
And okay, and this is on the glossy side of the parchment paper. And I want to show you something, guys. And this was recommended by somebody to do it on parchment paper. And look how hard it is compared to the other ones. But it is doable. It does work. If so all if all you have is that, it is not easy getting it off of the parchment paper. But it it does come off. So you really have to work at it. You have to be diligent. Kind of hang on to the edge and you know just go a little at a time. Take your time. And you can take it off. Now I will say this, when you do it on the parchment paper, it has a different um, kind of look to it. It doesn't um, have as smooth a look on the back, and you may like that better, so it may be worth it. And then again, like I said, I did not try it on wax paper. So, anyway, see this? Look at how hard it is. <laughs> Compared to the other ones, I'm like, eh, they practically fell off on the other ones. So, anyway. Alright, so, I got it off. It did tear in a few spots. Um, it was just really hard to get off. And the only thing I have to say, though, is it's not as glossy on the back as when you um, do it with the... Um, the other surfaces, okay? Um, so, and here's another one that I did uh, with the brown paper. And I did this. This is the, uh, the brown napkin. Um, and this was done with the white glue. So it's not super glossy on the back, but I think it turned out really cool. This turns out cool. It turns out good with the uh, regular white glue. It doesn't have that glossy shine on the back, so you might like that a lot better. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, let's see here. This is, remember we did the clear napkin with the clear? You can see the clear on the edges. Look how cool that turned out, guys. Is that not cool? Oh. With, and then these little cracks. Could you see using that? Like, you know? And you could have, ooh, for Halloween, you could have like a Tim Holtz doll sitting in the back, you know, and then this is your, I mean, it gives me, I think, kind of the look that you want that, and that, uh, I don't know, it's just so cool. Now, it's super shiny on the back, but this is with the clear glue and a little bit of tint, and then that, you know, that third layer of napkin, that real fine third layer, so that is cool. This is the brown paper with the um on with the uh white glue okay so that gives you that look um i don't know that's pretty much it i don't know oh and here is some here is some tissue paper that i did not that same tissue paper but um that's what that looks like which is really cool because to me you can really use that where you, places you couldn't use it before. So anyway, um, what I wanted to do now, guys, is just kind of show you. Um, oh yeah, and this this is the. Here, let me show you the difference. That's why I did that. Okay, this was done and put on the. Let me move this out of the way. I want to compare apples to apples here, so you can see. This is done with the this is done with the clear glue look how transparent that is and this is done with the white glue and they're both pretty pretty good I think see look at that can you see that maybe you can kind of tell see so this is done with the white glue and on the back, though, look, see, it's kind of really super shiny. And then this is done with the white glue, right? Not quite as transparent, but it's not very shiny on the back. But that is done on the parchment paper, which was hard to get off. I don't know. I'm hoping I might have to try it on wax paper and see how that works because 
might work better. So anyway, that is the difference between those two. I don't know if it matters to you. You know, what effect do you want? What effect do you want with it, you know? And then this is the uh, Tim Holtz paper. And you might think, well, why would you do that? Well, okay, so what if you want to take that and make a pocket out of it? Or you want to make an envelope out of it? So now you can do that. This was done with the clear. So it's very translucent, but at the same time, um, strong, okay? So um, let's say, let's say, there's so many of these. You can easily, there's so many things you can do with this. Ugh. Okay, let's try, maybe we'll try it with this one here. Let's try that. So, oh wait, I have another one over here too. Okay, so let's just try with this. Um, I could easily make, get my scissors out. I'm going to cut it. Mm. Right about here. Boy, I cut that crooked, didn't I? I cut it there. And then I'm going to cut it on this side just to straighten it out a little bit. Oops. I don't know how straight I'm cutting it. Let me cut off this bottom. Okay. And I don't think I want it that tall. All right, let's see here. Might be too wide. And I probably will save these little pieces because who knows, all right? So all I'm gonna do with this, guys, is I am gonna make a little, um, envelope out of this. Boy, I cut that crooked. And this is the one that had the glossy paper. So I'm just going to take my um, glue going to first let me straighten that out a little bit more crease it a little bit okay all right and all I'm going to do with this boy I cut that crooked I am terrible at cutting straight Okay, as I am going to go ahead and put some glue right here, and it does glue, it's not a not an issue, and that will dry clear, so, and then I'm going to go ahead and let me get some smaller scissors. I'm just going to cut that in right here on the corner, I'm going to go, I'm just guesstimating, and then I'm going to fold that up right here. Cut that off. Well, I just do it where I fold it out so it's... Alright, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at an angle right here. Right to the part that I cut. Okay. And then I'm going to put that up like that. And like I said, this does dry clear, so any glue that will dry clear will probably work with this. You would use it the same way you use vellum, guys. Oh, I think I've got the glue inside. Not good. Get that open. Okay, just a little bit, just in one little spot. Okay, so then on the top, I probably will just take my little pinking shears. Now you can make it, um, 
however you want it but I'm just showing you that you can make this cool little pocket that you could put that on a page or um, do whatever it is you want to do just like you would any other thing but you couldn't do that with regular tissue paper because it would not be strong enough right um, you can make an envelope out of it I think this stuff is so cool because there's so many things that you could put you know in there behind it like anything you put behind it you'll be able to see so I mean you can't it'd just be really fun I think the tissue paper is super cool um, here let's make something out of that uh, <laughs> let's try I'm gonna try this if I can get it out let's try my envelope punch board let's see if I have a piece big enough that I can use um, Let's see if we've got six and a half by six and a half. So let's just do that. Oops. Just lost something. Okay. Let me do. Well, you know what? That isn't going to work. Let's try my other one. get this straight on this side kind of sorta so then we're gonna go well I probably need to go down a little bit more so I'm just straightening this all out because I didn't do that when I put it on there so so let's see well, we could go more. Let's see. We've got, um, we could go eight and a half. So let's go, let's go eight by eight. Let's just do that because we have enough room here. We can do that. Eight by eight. We'll do that. Remember, this is just tissue paper, so it's not, you know, doesn't always turn out super strong. So let's straighten that out. Okay. So then, anyway, let's move all these little. I would save these pieces. I think they would work great for collage. Even though tissue paper, you know, you use that anyway for collage. But anyway, so let's try that. And then we're going to go and just do it like we would paper. I hope I have my scoring tool in there good. Okay, so let's see. If we're doing 8 by 8, uh, score line is 3 and 1 eighth. So that means we're going to go on our scoreboard to 3 and 1 eighth. If I can see it. I don't want to stick my head over there. Um, okay, it's right there. It's that first line. Three and one eighth. So then you find it right there, and here's your score line. Put it in the little pocket, and you just go right down. Of course, you don't want to go too hard because you don't want to mess with your thing. And I always punch it. Okay, and then all you do is you move it, you take this score line, and then you, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can fold it so you can see it. Here we go. Let me fold it. I can barely see it, so let's see here. 
I may have to mark it. Okay, so that's our score line. And we want to take that score line and get it even with that. And that's how you move it around. You don't put it in the same score line. You punch it and you score it. And I'm going to have to probably fold it just to even find it. Because you can't really see it all that well. You could mark it. I mean, you definitely could mark it with a pencil. I mean, I can see it. I just don't think y'all will be able to see it. So then you line up your score line there. And you do it again. And then you go down here. So... There we go, and then we just have one more, and line up our score line again, oops, get that on there good, all right. That last one did not punch well, so we're going to have to put it in there again. There we go. Well, it still didn't punch it all out. I'm going to have to probably cut it out. It is thin. Okay. So now that we've done that, oh, this one didn't punch out either, so... It is really thin, but, but it's still doable. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and fold up our envelope. Okay. That one's off a little bit. I folded it a little crooked. And then here, let's go back a little bit. Let's see. So that is going to go there. Put that on top. Or maybe put that on the top. Put that on the bottom. Okay. Off a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to put my glue on my envelope. Okay. And when you do this, guys, you take your time. Oh, I shouldn't have put glue on that top part because I'm going to cut it. All right? I like to cut the top but or fold it over either way. Maybe I'll just fold it. There we go. All right. So now we have this cool little sheer envelope that we've made out of our paper, our faux rice paper. Cool, isn't it? Now, I mean, you could do it with tissue paper, but it'd be rough because this was already thin and tissue paper probably would not allow you to maneuver it like that. Um, you definitely have a different kind of um, options when you use this stuff. So anyway, that's all I had for today, guys. I just thought I would show you my little fun things that I did with these and I could just see so many options with it. It's a lot of fun. Um, definitely save your scraps guys because there's a lot you could do with that. I mean you could make pockets on a page. There's no reason why you wouldn't be able to sew through that. Um, so if you wanted to cut that up make a pocket out of it or something you could. So anyway that's all I had for today and um, try it. You'll like it. I I, is really very addicting and now I have more pieces that are drying so um, as I said I left mine out overnight and um, just came back the next day you saw how easy it was to peel them off of there all right we'll see you again uh, next time and you guys take care bye bye